What is up YouTube? Clickwood here coming at you again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. As you guys can see here, we are 5-0 with a playoff berth already secured, looking to get that first round by. Of course, it's very important in Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons to actually get those buys because it actually gets pretty tough a lot of times in the playoffs. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just a choke artist or if it's actually like programmed so that your team plays shittier in the playoffs, but I tend to have a really tough time. In Madden 25, I choked away a ton of leads and a ton of seasons where I pretty much went like undefeated. And I'm looking to actually improve on that in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Of course, this is my first season, guys. I know it's been kind of a slow start, but as you guys know, I don't like to play it when my roster is just completely at a disadvantage. So I've been trying to build it up as much as I can. I feel pretty confident about it now. I'm still only at like an 86 or so, but uh, anyway, though, I still think that I'm decent enough to actually play. As you guys see here, my team did pretty okay on defense in this game, and that's really what I'm worried about. My offense, I don't necessarily need the superstars for, but my defense, because I can only control one player on defense, it makes it really tough because these guys, they like, they'll just allow players to get open for some reason in this game. I don't know what it is. They just love to do it. As you see me there, as I complain about my team allowing the defense to get open or the offense to get opened, I just allow that guy to get completely open and catch a pass. But what I'm trying to do is set things up like that. As you see there, we get the interception. We get the gotcha, bitch. And Brandon Flowers comes up with the interception. What I'm trying to really do, like I said, is set it up so that my opponent gets that false sense of security and then he throws a bad pass and we're able to explore it that's what we were able to do there and now we are on offense looking to get our first points on the board here in this one look at Gio Bernard here this is one of the best runs I've had yet in this game look at that he breaks a tackle and he is off to the races finally taken down an absolutely huge gain and in the next play we get into the end zone here the screen pass to Demarius Thomas he is not going to be caught Jordan Cameron got a huge block there for me so I was very happy about that and my opponent tries to go short with his own pass but we are are able to contain him there's only about a minute and 20 seconds left so I know he's gonna be passing here and oh we nearly got that pick nearly got it I knew that he was going to be passing to his tight end and right here my opponent actually started it looked like he was actually going to punt but then he ended up deciding to actually go for it here on fourth down and I knew he was gonna go to his tight end but I just couldn't quite get there in time and it I knew it was gonna cost me and there it is, the missed tackle on the sack. Should have been a sack. Instead, he throws it uh, just a bomb down the field, wide open in the end zone, and he is able to complete the pass for the touchdown. We are back on offense, though. There's about 30 seconds left, and I take a sack. And at this point, I was pretty frustrated. I didn't think I was going to be able to get points on the board. But then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to bomb it to my tight ends. Because I don't know what it is, but this guy is not defending the tight ends very well. And as you see here, we are going to find Jordan Cameron in the end zone for a touchdown with only a second or two remaining on the clock. That did it for the second quarter. And I am back on offense here. But look at my opponent. He scouted that screen pass this time, and I was forced to take a sack which led to this ugly piece of quarterbacking. On third and 18, I do throw the interception. An awful throw. There was no reason for me to throw that. I should have just thrown it away and punted. But for some reason, I just had this false sense of ability to make that pass. And it just wasn't going to happen for me. My opponent now trying to make me pay. And did you guys see what happened there? I somehow like came over the middle and forced his receiver to go the opposite way from the pass. The ball goes past him and we do get the interception with Devin McCourty in the end zone. And guys, it is back to the grind on the ground. Giovanni Bernard was an absolute monster for me in this game. Look at him breaking tackles and just pummeling the defense. And eventually I was going to break another big one. Here it is. He breaks another tackle, a poor angle taken by my opponent. And we are off to the races. Finally not going to be caught this time. Bernard does get into the end zone. Gives him a spike in the end zone for the celebration. And things are looking pretty good. 21-7. to The third quarter is almost over at this point. And I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. I knock away that pass. 
and you could just tell that the frustration was mounting for him, and at this point, he did decide to give it a rage quit. Can't really blame him, he was struggling on offense, and I was doing pretty well on defense and offense myself, so that did it for this one. We are 6-0. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and also, if you're new to the channel, please press the subscribe button so that you can be given an update when I put out a new video. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.